Well, you should do one then. Oh, he made it live. It's live. Welcome to Mercy <laughs> Gaming. Episode... 20. 20. It's so much fun. <laughs> We already get. Did you did you see we already got a comment on our video when it was waiting in to go live? No. We got a comment from some sort of spam bot, and he's like, "Good original content. Follow me." <laughs> did it really? Yeah, yeah. I got an email for it. I don't see this comment. I was, I was like, I was like, are you kidding me? I don't see this comment. Can not even make the video to end? Yeah, guy. Yeah, like, <laughs> or at least like comment on one of the videos we already have. Not the one waiting to go live. Maybe he's from the future. Maybe he is. But he then, back in time to tell us. <laughs> I'll evaluate whether or not to like and subscribe to him later then, I guess. <laughs> well, let's do it. We could do it right now. We could do this live. No, no. No, let's not give him views. Come on. Yeah, because fuck him. <laughs> anyway. So... <sighs> Hope everybody out there had a good Christmas or Hanukkah. <laughs> Seasonal greetings to all of you, no matter what religion. Or Kwanzaa. Or Kwanzaa. Or or Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> Happy Christmas, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa. Yeah, all those lovely holidays. <laughs> Seasonal <laughs> stuffs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, there's nothing awkward at all about this video right now. No, yeah, no. And that, I mean that, that's why we haven't done any podcasts um, for the last two weeks. We've been um, busy seasonal holiday stuffing stuff. Shit, has it really been long? It's, it's been two weeks. This is yeah, um, yeah. It's it's been a bit. So here we are, episode so we twenty. We have plenty to talk about then, right? Yeah, we do. I actually wanted to talk about life is futile. Uh, we recently picked it up. I am currently playing Life is Futile. Yeah, it's... If you liked Rust, honestly, I... The, it, the game has a lot of, like, feel of Rust in it, but at the same time, it's a lot more in-depth. Like, it, from everything, like, picking up, like, binded grass and then picking up pieces of branches and stones just to make a fucking axe, it's... it's you need very intricate pieces in order to make one little thing and it's and the building is very in depth it the skills are a lot like um the original um ulta or ultima online like cuz it like goes up in like point 1 or point 2 increments rather than like one whole the, skills the stat and skill bases are set yeah. up like old ultima, ultima yeah, online. Yeah. if anybody's played ultima online you'll you'll recognize it immediately which, it, it, actually, this game, I feel, is... I mean, even though you still have the building aspects, aspects, or aspects of Rust... Asbestos. Asbestos, yes. As Rust. It's... I think it's... I, I feel it's more leaning towards Ultima, actually. Because of how, like... Like, open it is, and what you can fucking do. Like You, you can, can just kind of do whatever the fuck you want type deal, yeah. Yeah, you can, you can breed and raise animals, and, like, kind of do what you do in Ultima. I mean, it's really, essentially, the same game. <laughs> I've heard, I've heard people yeah. um, related a little bit to Minecraft. Well, that too. I mean, it's. I mean, obviously, with a lot of a lot of the games that are out nowadays. I mean, obviously, you're going to be able to relate a lot of games and like these blended games. You know, that's you're going to be able to do that with any game. But I mean, this game is like if you played Ultima, this game is the 3D version of Ultima, in my opinion. It's it feels the same to it's, me. It's a mature. If you want to compare it to Minecraft, we're gonna say it's a mature Minecraft. I guess I just, yeah. I just heard a little bit. Not not like the ge- the whole game itself is like Minecraft, but yeah, yeah. a little bit uh, of the crafting and you know adventuring, exploring and building. That yeah, like I'm, I'm running around in it right now, and I mean the world looks pretty big, looks pretty sweet. Yeah, um, it's it's a huge game. It's huge maps. But yeah, huge. and there this is actually um, the one available right now is uh, Life is Futile Your Own, and this is actually. Um, Isn't this alpha? Yeah, this is alpha. It's 64 players map, but this is actually kind of baiting, baiting for their MMO that they plan on releasing. That's they plan on releasing an MMO and having a map 
a hundred times, if not more, the size of this with like ten thousand players on it, building and running their own towns and shit. That's yeah, it's cool. it's massive and it's it's so in depth on what you can do. There's so many little things that are. I mean, it's it's a time waster game. You can put all shit ton of time in this game, and that's I mean that's what a lot of immersive games are about. So I'm liking the game so far. It's it's a really buggy. Like, the maps, if you're walking around, you'll see, like, if you've ever done, like, a map or, like, designed, like, a floor and a map, and you can see, like, raised parts where you can see under the map and shit. It's There's a lot of glitches and a lot of bugs in this game, but obviously it's still alpha, so you yeah. have to kind of expect it. But, I mean, so far the concept of the game, the way the game is progressing, I'm enjoying the game so far. That's good. Yes. Yes, it is good. I enjoy it. Have you guys touched on new games? Um, I played the first bit of The Evil Within the other night. Oh, how the hell was that? Uh, I've only played like 20 minutes of it, but it's good. Um, it's definitely a little bit creepy. Um, I don't know if I've played anything new. I'm powering through Castlevania right now. That's giving me a little bit of trouble at times. I'll say you get past that one part, the one we were watching you on live stream. Where you're oh, the giant box! I'm sure you have. <laughs> yeah, I got past him. No, it was, it was weird because, like, I was playing, and at one part, I felt like it was harder than Dark Souls because, like, it would kept spawning me. Like, I kept dying, and it kept putting me in this one spot where you had to fight like these three werewolf things, and like. I didn't have full health, and there wasn't a health fountain thing or whatever that gives you full health nearby. So pretty much I just kept going in, and I think I died like 15 to 20 times before I actually beat it. I was getting really upset, really aggravated. Um, but I've so got past that, and now I'm actually like getting two new parts. And which, which Castlevania game is this? The Lord of Shadows. Oh, okay. Is it one or two? Uh, one right, I'm on one right now, and I do have two waiting to get through that. Um, what else have I been playing? I, I started playing Metro 2033. That's not a bad game. I started that game up, too. That game's pretty cool. Yeah. That, and uh, I got Sniper Elite 2. Um, that's pretty fun. So I think that's pretty much it, playing Dark Souls. Dark Souls actually... First one is no longer on games for Windows Live anymore. It's now all supported by Steam, I think. So that's nice. Finally have tr uh, achievements on Steam and stuff, which I was happy about. No more shitty game for Windows Live. Aren't they releasing a new version of Dark Souls? They're releasing a new one of the second game. Oh, Dark Souls but 2? Apparently, apparently it's more of a Game of the Year edition. It's not a... Like a remastered version, which some people saw. I don't know. I've heard both things, but probably not going to get it if it's the, pretty much the same as the second one. No. Yeah. 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 Anyways, um, Jared. I picked up uh, Dynasty Warriors Eight on the sale. Oh, how the hell was that? I was thinking about picking that up. It's fun. The only thing I can complain is the controls suck, and you have to you can't use a mouse. You can't play with the mouse. So yeah, Dynasty it Warriors is it, it's made to play with a controller, but that, I prefer to play with the keyboard. That's how Castlevania is, or at least the first yeah. one. Like, it's not made for mouse and keyboard. But it's still like, playable. Think... Like, if you can put that aside and deal with it, it's still yeah. Fun. I like it a lot. Seems like it's got a lot of content. There's like 12 storylines you can play through or some crazy crap. It's fucking nuts. Dynasty Warriors. Have you ever played the Dynasty Warriors before that one? Have I? Yeah. Yeah, I've played uh, uh, at least probably four or five different ones. I, I love the Dynasty Warrior games. I've they're awesome. Cool. They're, yeah, they they're are just awesome. always the same. That's my problem. <laughs> they're always the fucking same. They're so intense. When they're, I've all, seen they're always the same. But it was like one of the first games where you fight thousands of guys in a level. Because most games, you know, back in the day you'd fight like 20 or 30 guys throughout a level. And now this game introduced 
thousands and thousands of enemies and on the screen at one time it was just so awesome a lot of games have that now so it's not really a big thing but I think it definitely pioneered the way for lots and lots of enemies in games oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah Oh yeah, don't you know there? I've been playing this other game called Toy Soldiers. That's pretty fun. Is that on Steam? Yeah, it's on Steam. It's a tower defense game. Not to be not to be confused with Small Soldiers. Yeah. Surprisingly, right. the, the story of the movie Small Soldiers is almost like Toy Soldiers because it's little toy soldiers that. They're actually battling each other with guns and stuff. So <laughs> it's kind of like Small Soldiers in a way. It's a great movie, by the way. <coughs> but yeah, no. Um, the Christmas event that was pretty fun. Um, we did a Masari Thanos rampage cleanup. Viscera. Am I saying that right? How do you say Vissari it? or Vissari? I think, I think it's Viscera. I think it's Viscera. It's Vasari's from fucking Killzone. Yeah. 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 That game is unbelievably frustrating. It's. it's I'm kind of bummed out I couldn't join you guys the other night when you played it. <laughs> it was you ridiculous. Can get un you can get unproductive in that game. That's why. Really I, fast. We should play it. <laughs> Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. And we were we were on a good roll and then I just pissed off Cody one too many times by pushing him around with a bucket. And uh it's all dicks. <laughs> and then and then there was this super dark black spot of blood on the ground that took us like four buckets to clean up. It was stupid. Because I was just sitting because you just like you kept fucking throwing this bucket at me or this giant bucket and pushing me around and I was knocking over and shit and there was just blood everywhere. So eventually I just took my mop, my bloody mop and I just kept mopping the fucking floor and I'm like, fuck you guys. Yeah, it was just you, like just, black. you just sit there and mop and it and like even if you're removing blood from your mop, technically you should be, uh, it, it doesn't. You just have like an infinite supply of blood you can just put on the floor and just layer it. It's... Ugh. And like when you walk in blood, you create like yeah, I, I do know I'm so. trails and stuff. It's it, it, you can get like you can lose like all this progress you made like so <laughs> fast, and it takes so long to get like a room clean, and then you can just oh, fucking yeah. destroy it, it so we, fast. We played for like there's two, three of us originally, and then Jarrett had to go. And we we played for like two and a half okay, hours. Or so. I lost patience. This, this yeah. Old. <laughs> I couldn't do it anymore, man. We got screenshots of it, but I mean, we got it done. We got it completed, and we like got everything all perfect. Took our screenshots, and then we just exited. So we have like no proof. Besides yeah, you're all. supposed you're supposed to check out. Yeah, that's my fault. That's my fault. That's my fault. <laughs> We were so, it was so perfect. Like we we picked up the presents and made them all nice and moved all the furniture back and it was it was all nice and pretty as if like it was just gonna be a game you can play and then all of a sudden it was just done, just done. All progress wasted. I see Joel looking at contacts menus, stats, and information. What? He's watching what? you through Cody's cam. What? Oh, I'm looking at shit. <laughs> Cody's camp says otherwise. <laughs> this is true. Look, look, look at uh, this. It does. Okay. Look, yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Steam. Uh, yeah, <laughs> these, these Steam sales, man. They're yep. Steam sales going on until the second of January. You guys been getting your wallets raped or what? I've already spent probably. Too much money. But My wallet is raped at the moment, so I can't buy any games. It was nice. I got like seventy-five dollars in gift cards for Steam. Nice. But like, I've gone, I've spent no. I got. That's like fifty games. I got a hundred, <laughs> and I'm down. So I had a hundred dollars in Steam money, and I'm down to thirteen dollars and thirteen cents now. 
most of that went within the first hour that I put the codes in, too. Attaboy. <laughs> so. Do you have a wish list built up? I do, but I didn't really buy anything off the wish list. Because most of the stuff is either stuff that didn't come out yet, or it's stuff that is, like, 30 bucks, and it's, like, half off still. So. Yeah. The only games I have on my wish list are Unreal Tournament, like the Legendary Pack, and Mount Your Friends. Those are the only games I have on my on my wish list. And Mount Your Friends is like three bucks right now. So I should buy that. Well, it's always like yeah, three bucks. I, I should buy a Max Payne three because it's the best. I was thinking about that. Ever. It's so good. I love it. Love I game. was thinking about that. It's got a great story. Oh, Counter Strike. Do you need out. to play the first two to understand it? No, you don't need to play the first two. He, they, everything, the biggest plot points from the first two are, are kind of referenced a little bit in the third one, so they ca- they kind of let you know what's up. Oh, Bad Company Two is on sale, Joel. I know that's what I was saying. Oh, it's on sale for three dollars and thirty-five cents. Three dollars. I thought yeah. it was five bucks. Then it's on sale for five. Yeah, I'm it's looking on sale at for five. Vietnam's oh. on sale for like three bucks. So. Oh, yeah, well. Vietnam's on sale. That's what I'm looking at. Vietnam's good. Vietnam's is it, good. Is it good? Is it good? Why don't it's they got, have a bundle pack of this shit? It's got Creedence Clearwater in the soundtrack, so you know it has to be good. <laughs> you guys ain't down on CCR? No, I'm not. I'm oh. not, not a big fan of CCR. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I'm not. Mm. I still love you. <coughs> so, oh. go ahead. I was just going to point out, there's a game on Steam. I feel like it's more of an indie game, but it's like a hack and slash type game, kind of like uh, Darksiders, I guess. I, I just started playing Darksiders, so I don't want to say it for sure. But it's called Marlo Briggs and the Mask of Death. It's 99 cents right now. I got that game. Have you played it yet? Yeah, I played it. How is it? I, I did buy it, but I haven't played it yet. It's not bad. It's really not I bad. Gonna I like say the reviews is ninety four percent positive out of a thousand reviews. <clears throat> the story and the character and everything is different than your average game. The storyline's kind of cheesy though, but I mean, it's you know, it's it is what it is, and it's good for an indie game, like you said. Damn good for an indie ninety nine cents. I mean, what game is this? Marlo Briggs and the Mask of Death. Marlo brings in the mask of death. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I just said what he said, but with a weirder tone. That's what. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And yes, I can dig, dig Credence Clearwater. <laughs> oh, you like you like see Sergio? Classics. I just I don't know playing the Vietnam games it goes so well in the background. Yeah, that's, you just have to. It's just it has to be in the soundtrack, man. Oh, so you're a big black dude? Yes. With like a fucking. He's got stick like axe thing. There's like a you meet like a voodoo ghost and it like. <laughs> Empowers you with voodoo powers, and you like become like this badass fighter. It's, the did story you, is crazy. It's crazy. Did you beat it? No, I only played. Two, I played like an hour or so of it. It's like uh, fucking almost like God of War. Yeah, I did. I did. I was actually watching a stream of it, and someone, I think multiple people in the chat were like, "This looks a lot like God of War," and the streamer was like, "Yeah, yeah, just shut up." God of Voodoo. Yeah, the way he's like moving his weapon and shit, and like the combat, it looks like God of War. God of well, Poo Poo. Like it's fucking, it's it's fucking God of War. When was this released? I uh, 2013. I know it's since 2013, but this is not 2013. Don't tell me <laughs> it's <this is> 2013. <laughs> it was made. It's this isn't a a big studio that made it. This is like yeah. a small studio that made it. And if you can take that in consideration. It's pretty good for a small studio. Uh, this can't, no, this can't. Look, look at this. It was 2013. <laughs> I can't even believe it. That just looks so PS2. 
It's, it's fucking God of War. It looks better now. What? This is the same company that made the Expendables video game. So just oh just, god, just to throw that out there. Five oh five. Definitely better than the Expendables game. Did you play the Expendables game? No, I'm just looking at pictures out of, of it right now. Um, was it good? Did you like it? Late on the laugh track there. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I try. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Any other games you guys want to talk about? Sure. Uh, Game of Dirt. Game of Dirt, yes. Dirt. Metal Gear 5, Ground Zeroes. Short. I beat it in an hour and a half. <laughs> what game? Ground Zeroes. Metal Gear. The one oh. before the new... Metal Gear. Wait, isn't that supposed to be like a prequel or something? It's yeah. before the new, new one. It's almost more like a tech demo, but it's good. It's got a good engine. I'm excited for the new Metal Gear coming out. It's going to be fun. It's going to be like Red Dead Metal Gear. Alright. So... I played the Goat Simulator MMO. It's ridiculous. It's, it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> There's like actual like character classes. Which class did you pick? I tried uh, the warrior, and I tried the mage, and I tried the rogue, and did they're you all. Try the microwave. No, oh yeah, I did try the microwave, and you shoot pizzas. <laughs> you shoot awesome. pizzas. You shoot pizzas at people. Sounds and awesome. I yeah. played as a mage, and it's like a goat with like a magic cape and a top hat, and he like yeah. takes cards at people. It's like yeah. ridiculous. You shoot like cards and like fireballs, and like it's ab- This game is just absolutely ridiculous. Like the warrior is, you have like this ground pound thing, and like you just like run up to things and you just like start slamming down really fast, and everything just starts exploding. It's it's absolutely fucking ridiculous. It's ground pound thing. Yeah, it's it's absolutely insane. It's really entertaining. Flash pound. The flash pound. Flashlight. Flashlight. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. okay. It's okay. <laughs> Cue the laugh check. <laughs> so. <laughs> anyway. Ah. Uh, uh, you're funny. <laughs> Sorry. There was no joke there. Yeah. I know know there was no joke there. Somebody cut this half. The sound effect. (laughs) You guys can have your own sound effects, son. No. No, you take this shit off. We are not drawing on anybody. Oh. I just see there being dicks. This guy running over. That's funny. Really? God damn it, Joel. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Have you guys seen that face rig app on Steam? What? Is that where you like? <coughs> I think I have. I think you I know what you're You can make your about. face into a... Uh... What the hell is Cody watching? You can make your face into like a 3D model. What the fuck is this? Yeah. Is he, like, trying to fake, like, a car crash so he can get insurance or whatever? Probably. It looks like Russia. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. The fuck was that? That's fucking ridiculous. Anyways. Uh, I wanted to talk about a game, but I forgot yeah. what it was. Slacking. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, I know. Have you guys tried Castle Miner Z yet? I... I looked into that game, and it was like mostly positive reviews. And then I went and I went to the comments section, and it was just 
All negatives. I haven't tried it yet. I'm still gonna try it because I don't care about that. I'm still gonna try it. Well, play it before. Play it and you judge it. Cause that's what can, I'm saying. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try it. I don't I've give it. I've put time into that game. I put like 20 minutes into it. I guess it's not that long. But <laughs> <laughs> I put time into that game. 20 minutes. <laughs> it's, it's not bad. It's. The, it's I, I don't go off the reviews for a game anyways. I just look at reviews to see if there's anything I should be expecting, like mm -hmm. a bug or something. So I don't care about the negative reviews because if a game's really bad, I don't give a shit. As long as I like it, I don't care. It's but, definitely a Minecraft clone, but... Yeah, I, I figured that. It's supposed to be in like, a dark like fantasy, like scary world. The yeah. only thing that I saw was a little disappointing is that the developers stopped supporting the game. Did they really? Yeah, from what I saw in the comment sections and all the reviews and stuff, that a lot of the developer the developers stopped caring about the game. So that made me a little sad, but I'm still gonna try the game and hopefully it's ridiculous because it looks fucking ridiculous. <coughs> well, there's achievements and there's, there's achievements for that game. Yeah, and there's what? Nothing, man, come on, come on, man, achievements for everything. Come on. There wasn't achievements for Dark Souls, son. Yeah, there is food. There is now. There is now, but there wasn't. Yeah, check it. What well, else? Well, it was on game for Windows Live. Well, live, okay. Yeah, there you go. Bam. No, so fuck you. <laughs> Don't be scared. I hate you. <laughs> I fucking hate you. Murder beans, came in! <laughs> yes. I, I want that. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna. I want to take a clip of that, and I want to make it the intro. Make it the intro, sure. To every fucking podcast. Uh, sure. I'm gonna throw like some, throw some like a sick ass music. guitar riff in the back. Yeah, I'm gonna put some like, dance music behind it, <laughs> and I'm gonna make that the end of You gotta intro. make it spin too when it comes. It's like, you know, like when they do like the twirling video, be like There's explosion boom. behind it. Explodes. Yeah, that's gonna be my project for the night is making that fucking video because it's gonna be. Fucking ridiculous. I am looking forward to seeing this. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the clip, and yeah, it's gonna be great, and I'm I excited. Like this. this is good. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> that random spurt. I don't know where that came from, but I like it. Came from my energy. There, got the gusto. Got the gusto. Got the gusto. Yes. See. <laughs> See. See. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is uh, happening? Don't question. What the fuck is going on? Don't question it. Just, just let it slide in. What the hell are those sound effects? Ooh. I need those sound effects, man. <laughs> that's, that's all I got for you. Is there a goat sound? That's all they I need. Goat sound. What? They need a goat sound. <laughs> Cody's very good at being a goat. All right, I think um, I think this uh, podcast is it's it's game over, man. Fatality, headshot, babality, C -c -c combo breaker, Toasty. <laughs> Toasty! <laughs> Toasty! <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. Uh, I would say go to murderbeardsgaming.net, but currently... Do it. Yeah, do it. But if do you go, it. Yeah. Good luck. Yep. Anyways, uh, check us out at murderbeardsgaming.net. You can check out the next podcast next Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Also, if you want, uh, we do have a public TeamSpeak server. If you guys would like to join up and talk with us and play games with us, uh, you guys can connect with murderbeardsgaming.net <laughs> as well. So, Get those updates for live videos. Let's do this next week, 8 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> Register on the website and follow-ups. Follow up for new updates. You guys new updates. 